welcome to the extremely fancy setup that is my bedroom on my bed because the rest of the house is like carnage and I can't find anywhere with good lighting or a good clear space to film. I did find that the kitchen was good but then Sean's put the washing machine on um, before he starts work so I was like can't can't be doing that can't be having the rumbling sound of a washing machine um, but you're joining me today because we're going to be transporting back to about 2014 2017 I'm not sure when this trend was a thing but I was definitely blogging and filming at this time this special era which is product empties would I buy again and on our blogs back in the day we used to be like, I've hit pan. It was such a thing, I've hit pan. And you used to be so proud that you'd like used up a product because we used to buy product, beauty products like there was no tomorrow. Does anyone remember this special, special era? Please drop it in the comments below if you know what I'm on about. I don't know if these videos will be popular anymore or if it's even worth me doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I think if I can save you some money so you don't rebuy these products, you don't buy these products and waste your money or just like, if you think, oh, I need that product, it'll be worthwhile. And um, I'm currently trying to sort out a look fantastic code. So if that is here in time, I'll pop that down below and it gives you money off and it's an affiliate link for me, which means I earn like a few pence per click or per purchase, I think. I don't know, I'm the worst like, I'm not even an influencer. I'm the worst content creator there is. <laughs> So we're just going to go with it and either way I'll provide links to things even if I haven't got a code but I'll try my best to get you some money off um, some things if you want to buy some of these bits and bobs. So I'm going to do the things that I, the empties that I love and I absolutely would buy again and then I'll do the things that I don't want to buy again. Does that sound good? If so, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, you've probably heard me talk about in my vlogs so much and if you watch back videos from years ago, I was still using this. This is the Kerastase, ooh, ASMR empties, Kerastase Nutritive Mask Intense, and it's for thick hair. Um, I don't actually have thick hair, I have a lot of it and it's very fine, but this smells like clean linen to me, like a really comforting like hug from, from a person you love. It's, um, it smells amazing, and I literally have never used a mask that compares to it, just never, ever, ever. And you don't even have to leave it on the full time, but if you can leave it on overnight, your hair will feel like actual glass. It is beautiful. And this has been empty for a while. I normally get it for my birthday and Christmas, and then I make those two pots last all year. Don't ask me how. But um, when I had olive and my hair started to fall out and stuff, I was using this a lot because I just wanted my health to have a, my hair to have like a healthy boost, and I have got through it rather quickly. So I just need to see if I've got enough money <laughs> to repurchase this because I can't wait till Christmas. My hair is crying. I've been using something else in replacement, which I will not purchase again, which I'm going to talk about in this video. And um, yeah, it's not cutting the mustard. This stuff is magic in a tub and it is my absolute favorite thing that i'm going to talk about today please promise me you will try it because it is just incredible pop it on your christmas list pop it on your birthday list you only need a tiny amount it's amazing I'm going to talk about one more kerastase product and that is the elixir ultimate ultimate Ult oh why must they do this to us anyway here it is it's a hair oil i've tried weller ones i've tried moroccan oil nothing compares like I know this is a Spenny brand and it's, when you become a mum, I just feel like I can't splurge on these things anymore. However, I do think buy cheap, buy twice, and I do think good quality stuff does last. And I always get compliments on my hair before Olive made it fall out. And um, so I do think sometimes good products give very good results. Don't get me wrong, there are the exceptions where you think, why is that such a bougie price? It's rubbish. But Kerastase has never let me down and um, this hair oil has taken me a good year and a half to get through and I have got long hair. Um, I use it wet and then I've also used it dry. You know like when you straighten your hair and you think, God, that looks a bit crispy. Um, just pop a little pump in and then just run it through the ends. Any excess that I have left, I rub on my hands and elbows. And again, for 37, I'm looking okay. So it must have some good stuff in it. Um, what does it actually say? Oh, it's all... It's all in a language that I just can't read. However, like I say, I've, I've been through like three bottles of this and it is incredible and I highly recommend. Also smells really good too. 
Oh, I've got one more Kerastase product um, to tell you about. However, I feel like this is a bit of a cheat because I didn't buy this. This came as a freebie, which again, on look fantastic. They're very good for that. This came as a freebie a while ago. And this is the eight hour magic night serum. And again, Kerastase have a real habit of making their things smell amazing. This is magic potion in a bottle. I used it three nights ago and it you just basically pop it in. It doesn't like sit greasy or anything on your hair. It smells amazing. And it's just a little magic potion that you go to bed and you just shampoo in the morning and it's amazing. So I really, really recommend that. Like I said, that was a sample and it just goes to show that samples do work because I will be purchasing this once I buy the mask. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna get some of this because it's amazing. So I'll leave the link for that below. Right, we're moving on from hair care now um, about products that I love and will buy again. And again, you're probably sick of me ranting about this, but it is my ride or die. I absolutely love it. I have had about eight pots of this possibly even more <sighs> smells of neroli it's incredible it's the enemas pro collagen cleansing balm i don't really feel like i need to talk about this much because everybody knows about it but if you haven't tried it please promise me you will my skin it it, it just melts all your makeup off i know it says you're not supposed to use it on your eyes however i do and i've never had a problem um just gently rub over the eyes it just melts everything gets off stubborn mascara i just love it you can leave it on and it acts as a bit of a mask a bit of like a treatment it's amazing and if you use it sparingly it does last quite a long time again with me i normally get one for christmas one for my birthday and it does normally see me through um but because i've switched back to doing beauty and makeup as a job i'm finding myself and obviously filming myself more i'm finding myself wearing makeup on a much more daily basis and hence having to remove my makeup every single day with this stuff because it just gets through everything removes all the horrible nasty eyelash glue it's just great and like i say it is expensive however amazing and it feels like a little bit of a treatment because of the smell of it and because you take off using a hot mm, hot flannel it's just gorgeous love it love it love it on the sort of theme of skincare another product that i will be buying again is the CeraVe hydrating hyaluronic acid serum it's really affordable i think after having olive my skin really changed and i started to notice it was aging and i was getting like really sort of dehydrated papery looking skin i did look into and i can never say this is it profolio pro profolio god knows it's basically injectable which is like um hyaluronic acid into your skin and i chickened out because i was just like do you know what <laughs> i just feel like i don't want to i don't want to do that just yet i want to wait till i look haggard and like to the point of like there's no fate there's no rescue in me until i get that done um you might think i'm already there <laughs> some days i feel like i'm already there but i was just like i don't want to do it too early i know prevention's better than cure but i was like no we've got another year left in utif and also it's very expensive um, and if I do get it done, I promise I'll take you along with me and you can watch me get jabbed in the face, which is just going to be great. Um, I hate needles, so that's going to be fun. Just before I do Botox, I just wanted to give that a try. Um, but anyway, um, so I just started looking into, did my research into the best hyaluronic acids that you can get on the market. And this one came out at a really fair price and it, it sorted me out. Like I have noticed a difference in my cheeks. Um, I talk about my cheeks because that is mainly where the problem was. It was very, like I say, like papery almost, like the texture had really changed. And hyaluronic acid is great for boosting moisture and yeah, really recommend this. And then like I say, it is actually affordable, but the only downside is it's very small and I do get through this quite quickly. Last product of Love It is <laughs> this sad looking foundation <laughs> and again you probably heard me talk about it loads it's the Giorgio Armani luminous silk in 6.5 that's the shade I wear and it's also the foundation that Kim Kardashian loves and if it's good enough for Kimmy K it's good enough for the rest of us um again I've been through bottles and bottles and bottles of the stuff and I am that cheapskate that's like I will get every last drop out of you because I think it's like 42 quid it's not cheap um and every time I buy it I feel like it goes up a little bit more but it is incredible. It's a beautiful, <laughs> oh, just rearrange myself, a beautiful luminous foundation, as the name would suggest. Really buildable. I have loads of these in my kit as well for makeups, 
for bridal it's just unmatched i love it love it love it and i recommend it to everybody to at least try um because although it's not a full coverage foundation you can build it and you can make it to how you want it to be um i've got quite oily skin it it does well but like i say i don't even though i have oily skin i don't like that over china doll like matte appearance because i think it accentuates fine lines it accentuates pores i just i love a luminous base and i just love this i love this range i hope they never stop making it because i'm in love on to the sad stuff now things that i would not repurchase and i, I think this first product that i'm going to talk about is going to cause some waves because i know a lot of people love it for me not a fan do not think it is worth the price which is upsetting because I do like Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Um, I do think sometimes I think, mm, I'm not sure it should have that price. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to judge. Um, but all I can say for personal experiences, I'm not a fan of this and will not be repurchasing. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. And again, like I say, everybody loves it. However, I think it smells, it feels, and it gives the same results as like the big do you know my nan used to have it like the big tubs of like nivea like thick cold cream um and like what's the one that joanna lumley uses begins with an a i'm sure it does anyway um i think you can get a really similar result with those creams very thick feels a little bit sort of um almost um what's the word um claustrophobic feeling for me and i don't know whether that is because i do have that shinier oilier skin and it's not super dry i just i will not be repurchasing like i say i've had better moisturizers that are cheaper the elemis ones the cerave one that just work better for my skin i'm just yeah sadly it will not be a repurchase but i do know a lot of people love it so would love to hear from you down in the comments um what you think of this product right shockwaves I'm going to talk about an Elemis product that I don't like, and it is the only Elemis product that I've ever used that I would not repurchase. So I was actually given this because somebody else didn't like it. So my auntie was like, mm, not a fan of it. Um, it's the Superfood A -ha 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 Glow Cleansing Butter, Pumpkin Glow Cleansing Facial Cleanser. Um, I've used it all because you can tell the smell is not there. Because it's Elemis and I know it's good for me but it didn't do it didn't tickle my pickle it didn't do anything for me nothing compared to its big sister you know the cleansing balm this smells and my friend Jasmine said it of like sun cream it doesn't have a very nice smell it definitely does it make me glow it did a little bit but it's very like the texture feels like margarine um slimy margarine are you tempted to buy um to the point where like i haven't even scraped the last remnants out because i'm like meh you're not worth it compared to obviously the collagen one where it's literally like i've licked it <laughs> um i'm just like meh it's time for you to go in the bin now um just didn't love it um didn't like the glass jar because again i just feel like more money is spent on the the container than the product and i've got expensive tiles in my bathroom and every time I use this and a sink that's porcelain and I just think if I drop this I just have this overwhelming anxiety as like, if I drop this I'm gonna do more damage than this pot costs I don't know how much this was um I just yeah I wasn't a fan of it I just don't think it really did much and maybe I'm comparing it with the collagen cleanser but I just really not a fan sorry sorry Elmis I don't like it this one it's not like me because I, I don't mean to sound like snobby with my stuff, but like I've said to you, I do sometimes think, well, nine times out of 10, if you buy lux like a few luxury things that really work, then they do so much more for you. But I did try this, which is like, a, I don't really buy much from like Superdrug and, and Boots and things when it comes to hair and makeup because I just, I've never found that it does much for me. And again, sadly, I know a lot of people love this, but I think again, because I've been spoiled with the Kerastars one, if you can afford it, get it. Because again, I went through this in a matter of weeks, the Kerastars one, because you need so little. Um, I don't go through it quickly because it's quality. Um, I just wanna know what your thoughts are on that because I know there are some like drugstore stuff, so, so American, that is good, but 
this for me is not it it did nothing for me it smelled nice and that's what i will say this is the garnier hair food banana and she shea um i just i just don't think it does much i don't think it does much at all like when i wash it out in the shower it just doesn't feel doesn't feel silky or anything it just doesn't feel anything like I say it makes it tangle free and it smells amazing because I love banana. It's like the old banana medicine smell. But yeah, just it didn't do much for me. So I'd like your opinions on this, please. Right, the final product I'm like on the fence with because I love the product and this was in the sale. So I'm thinking, do they know there's a problem with it? Because I don't experience this problem with the black one that I've got. This is the Coconut Bliss by Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And the product itself is incredible. Like, I really, really like Morphe uh, Mist. The problem I have is every single time um, I go to spray it, you put, oh, you didn't see. The, I've had two of these now. Um, the first one I sent back because of this problem, and then the second one, same thing. The, just, the, the top falls off every single time, and it's infuriating. Um, I didn't put any setting spray on this morning, so I'm going to give myself a little treat. It's lovely, it smells incredible, my clients love it. But like I say, the amount of times I've been um, places, weddings and stuff, and this is rolled across the floor, and then you have to sit and sanitize it, it's just not the one. Um, and then sometimes, because it's come loose, it does that squirty, splurty thing where all the like product like starts dripping down. Yeah, bit of a shame. Has anyone else experienced the same thing with this? Is it why it's in the sale? Are they discontinuing it? I don't know. Um, but it's a shame because like I say the product itself is really good it's just a bit of a faux pas on the packaging design is it just me am I heavy handed I don't know so that concludes my product empties would I purchase again now I know the Morphe spray I was able to get a little bit out of it but I thought it was empty <laughs> it feels empty I've just tried it again it's like um, so what do you think? Did you like these? Would you like to see like a monthly one, a quarterly one of what I use up and would I buy it again? Has it inspired you? Is there anything that you're like, oh, I think I find that probably won't bother now? Or are you wanting to rush out and buy the Kerastase hair mask so you can have like goddess hair? Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, I would love it if you're new here or if you're just um, like me and quite lazy and haven't subscribed. Oh, I just only saw a car crash out of my window. Ooh. Anyway, I would love it if you subscribed. I'd also love it if you hit the thumbs up button. I hate asking that, but it does me an absolute solid. It does really help my channel. And I have put a lot of effort into this channel over the last few months since Olive's been born. So yeah, would love to um, have you stay if you wanna subscribe. Um, and also, please leave me any comments to videos that you'd like to see. I'm gonna film after this one, um, if you're a makeup artist or really interested in makeup, I'm going to do like some kit essentials I love. I'm also going to film um, a Olive's favourite toys video because I thought that might help new mums. And then I'm going to revisit products that I mentioned that I thought were good or bad when I first had a newborn. Because again, my opinion has changed a lot on those. So thanks for watching this video. I'm blabbing on now. Um, please do come back and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!